Hi, it's Ty the Real Estate Guy, and today we're talking about how to become a successful real estate agent in the new home construction industry. If this is your first time seeing me, you'll want to hit the subscribe button below and ring that little bell to stay up to date on the latest real estate tips and trends. This video is gonna give you the actual steps you need to take to not only become a new home salesperson, but more importantly, how to become a successful new home salesperson. Just so you know, I've been in the new home construction industry for about 14 years now as a new home construction specialist. I've personally guided hundreds of people through the new home construction process. So let's get started. First, you need to get your real estate license, at least in most states. There could be a dozen or so real estate schools in your area, but trust me when I say, don't sign up at the cheapest one. Ask around, find the best one, and take classes there. Online classes may also be available in your area, so be sure to check on that. Once you've completed the courses, you'll need to take the state exam to receive your real estate license. This is where the good school pays off. If you're smart, you won't sign up for the cheapest schooling you can find like I did. And if you're lucky, you won't have to take the test multiple times like I did. Second, you've gotta get hired. When I was new to the industry, I submitted applications with several home builders, but they wouldn't even give me an interview. They didn't wanna waste their time with someone who had no experience. This was frustrating because how can I get experience if no one will hire me? Most builders don't wanna waste their time training a new person with no new home sales training. So you need to find a builder that offers a training program. Usually these are the large national home builders. Anyway, there are definitely some solid tips and tricks to help you get your foot in the door. Things I wish I had known when I was trying to break into the new home construction industry. In the future, I'll do a video on how to get hired as a new home salesperson. Heck, maybe you're watching this video months after I've already made it and the video already exists. Be sure to check out my list of videos if this is something you'd like to know more about. Third, find a mentor. Once you get hired, this can be someone on your sales team or it can be someone like me. Just make sure they are top performers so you can not only learn what they are doing, but how they are doing it. Do as they do, even if it makes you uncomfortable or especially if it makes you uncomfortable. Usually, the best growth happens when you step outside of your comfort zone. Fourth, educate yourself. Read good books and watch educational videos. Do anything and everything you can to learn more about the new home construction industry. Watch videos on how homes are built or how to become a better salesperson. Read the best books from the most successful people. The books don't always have to be sales related. As a matter of fact, they shouldn't be. You should mix in books that are motivational, educational, and inspirational. Fifth, schedule each day in advance. I call it my to-do list because I like crossing things off as I attack each day. It all starts with a planned morning routine which should include some physical fitness and some self-education. You don't need to set aside a full hour every single day. Start with 15 minutes of fitness and five minutes of reading and increase it from there. If you can improve just a little every single day, you'll begin to build self-discipline, which is a critical characteristic of anyone who wants to be successful. And I'm not talking about just business. I'm talking about everyday life as well. The best salespeople in the world, the true professionals, have highly developed self-discipline. You know, the ability to do things other people won't, and even more importantly, do the things that need to be done even when they don't feel like doing them. Self-discipline is what separates the most successful people from the average, everyday normal person. I don't wanna go off course, so if you'd like to learn more about self-discipline, watch my video, How to Be Self-Disciplined. I'll put a link to this below. Going back to your schedule, it should continue throughout the entire day, including how you're gonna start your day once you get to work. What is the most important thing you can do? Think to yourself, 
What is the one most important thing I can do right now to make money or more specifically, sell a home? Start with that and then move on to the next most important thing and don't stop until it's time to go home. Though, you shouldn't stop there. Instead of going home and plopping down in front of the TV or your computer, plan an activity with the people you love. By scheduling each day in advance, you'll amplify your personal, professional, and social life. The sixth step is prepare. Be the most prepared person you know. When I first broke into the new home construction industry, I'd arrive to work an hour early almost every single day, and I would wait an additional 15 minutes after normal hours before heading home. By doing this, you should pick up a few extra clients each year. For me, this equaled thousands of additional dollars per year, and it helped me to be consistently a top performer no matter what company I represented. It's important to have the right mindset when you enter the model home. Make sure you're physically and mentally ready. By arriving early, you can make sure all your sales material is ready. Prepare packets with your contact information, the price sheet, included features, a map showing the available home sites, and another sheet showing the quick move-in homes. I'd also prepare multiple contracts so if someone's ready to buy a home on the spot, they won't be waiting on you to put the contract together. I want to make the process as smooth as possible for everyone. These are just some simple things you can do to prepare yourself better than your competition and the others you work with. To prepare mentally, first off, believe in what you're selling. What are the benefits of building a home? I honestly believe that buying a home is the best financial decision someone can make and that building is much better than buying used. I've researched these topics so when someone questions me, I can give them a whole slew of reasons and statistics. More importantly, you need to be mentally ready when someone walks into the model home. What is the first question you're gonna ask every single person who walks in the door? Then what? What is your sales process? Have you practiced it? Do you have the confidence to take someone that you just met all the way through the process to writing a contract? If you're ready, it will happen. Seven, spend time prospecting. Many new home salespeople make the mistake of thinking they don't need a prospect because the builder is marketing and bringing clients to them. But you should let everyone in the world, starting with the people you know, that you are a new home salesperson and if they're looking for a new home, they should talk to you first. If you wanna take your business to the next level, get out and meet realtors. You know that people are gonna bring clients directly to you. I've spent thousands of dollars and even more hours talking to realtors and building those relationships. So when they have clients who'd like to build, they'll bring them directly to me or at least call me first. Over the years, this has paid off more than tenfold. On top of that, I've made some great friends in the industry. Quick side note, focus on getting to know the top performing agents. They'll be tougher to win over, but if you're consistent and persistent, sooner or later, they'll start bringing clients your way. Eight, follow up with every single person who walks in the door. This starts with registering every single person you meet. If you don't get their phone numbers or email address, you'll have no way to follow up with them. Since buying a home is such a huge decision, most people don't buy on the first visit. So, a lot of your success as a new home salesperson is tied to your ability to follow up with your clients consistently until they either buy or tell you to stop bugging them. To add to this, you also need to follow through. When you tell a client you'll do something, do it. Obviously, there's more to it, like developing a sales script so you can have a basic chronological process to follow with each person who walks in the door. I'm planning to do a video on this in the near future, but in the meantime, I'd recommend buying this book, The New Home Sales Pocket Guide. It's available on Amazon. There's also things like self-motivation, building good habits, goal setting, and goal achieving. I'll dive deeper into all these topics in future videos, but for now, I'd recommend watching my video, The Guaranteed Path to Success, 
I'll also put a link to this video below. I know that most of you understand that success doesn't come cheap and it's not easy. The journey is tough and there are no shortcuts. Only ways to be more efficient. So learn whatever you can about the new home construction industry so you can increase your efficiency and the rate at which you'll succeed. Well, that's it. For more new home construction training videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone who's looking to become a new home salesperson, please share this video with them. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. Please type your remarks below. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to ring that little bell below too. It'll make you feel good.